So in this video, I want to talk about Alia hides her feelings in Russian, and I want to talk about a particular article that has come to my attention, but I also just want to talk about the anime as well, because I feel like this anime and light novel is, it's really good. I've been reading the light novels, I've been enjoying it, and there's a lot of reasons why I really enjoy it, and I'm not going to go into this video because I've talked about it in other videos, and I have future videos planned going over character analysis stuff, because as I've been getting deeper and deeper and deeper into the light novels, there's a lot of interesting things that I want to talk about as far as character complexities, character ways that characters have been created and the structures behind them, the goods, the bads, how they work with other characters. It's just a series that I really enjoy what the writer has tried to create. And Yuki, which is of course the main male protagonist's sister, Masa, as I like to shorten to, is a character that has apparently caused a lot of, lot of controversy. And Screen Rants has apparently been attacking the series because, of course, they need to go after anything that is popular because, of course, that's what they do. They look for anything that's trending and they go, hey, let's attack this series because we need views, we need controversy, and we will just make some things up and attack the series, the Japanese culture, and then they stereotype, which in my opinion, I find Screen Rant to be very racist in this, using their own standard of measurement, how they perceive racism by, based on their own rules, they themselves are being racist, and I'm just saying that there, because how they're going about attacking this series is very generalizing, and I've read part of it, and I'll be reading the rest of it in this video, so a lot of it's going to be fresh to me, so I will be using a different voice for reading, so that you understand what I'm reading and what I'm not, so you'll know straight away. So of course, the title of the video, the title of the article, Crunchyroll's new hit romance anime is ruined by this season's most controversial character. Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian is Crunchyroll's smash hit romance anime of 2024 summer season, currently sitting comfortably at the second place of my anime list. It's a great show with phenomenal simple premise. What if a cute girl in class confesses her feelings in a language that she thinks the crush doesn't understand, but he secretly does the whole time? It's straightforward and great watch the entire time until the main character's sister Yuki comes on screen. Incest is unfortunately a relatively normal trope in anime. That is by the way false because have you ever been to certain websites that present, you know, risque content, starts with P, ends with N, has an R-O in the middle? Yeah, those sites have a massive amount of incest and that's western stuff. So to imply that Japan is the only country that has incest is just factually incorrect and to imply that it's normal over there and it's not in like that's how they're trying to frame it again read the read the, that sentence incest is unfortunately a relatively normal trope in anime like they're implying that it's the only country that's that's how i'm seeing how they're trying to frame this they're beginning with this whole concept that it's normal there but you never see these people criticize western culture for having this kind of stuff just point that out sometimes series play around with the idea a joke about it yeah it's a joke have you ever heard of it? I know, you've got very thin skin screen rants. Make one character or another uncomfortable and move on. Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian, takes it to the next level. Yuki is the main character, Masa's blood-related sister, that doesn't stop her from towing the line as closely as possible between a humorous joke and just plain uncomfortable. This is the thing about humor. So then, they want humor to be the most boring, bare dry, asinine, just stupidity. Their forms of joke is just wishing death on certain people they don't like, and then claiming that they're heroes of the people. That's, that's what they're like. Their humor is not really humor in how I see it. But again, humor is very subjective, but the way they're trying to frame it is that this humor has gone too far. Well, no, it's a joke. That's her character. She uses anime tropes and has fun with them, making jokes at them and going, oh, you know, you get to have your first time seeing some fan service of me because that's what in the mangas do. Yeah, she's using the tropes from 
animes and mangas and having fun with them with her brother and just joking around. She has no interest in wanting to be romantically involved with him. And I've seen some anti-tubers as well trying to make videos, trying to frame it as Yuki is trying to get with the brother. No, she's not. She's just messing around on a joking level. She is not serious. She, in my opinion, is supportive of Alia and her brother, Masse, getting together. She, in my view, is supportive for that because she wants her brother to be happy, to be how he kind of used to be. And there's a whole different complex topic behind that that I plan to go over where it's about his backstory and him becoming what he he should be and his full potential but there is no actual legitimate seriousness in her and again it is just a joke so and again you can say oh but it makes me uncomfortable then go outside touch some grass and watch some teletubbies because you clearly have thin skin Continuing, Yuki should be a funny character. Her writing is great, and the voice actor supporting the character is even better. Are they talking about the subbed or the dubbed? <laughs> I mean, we could we could we could debate on which if if the dub's good or not. But the show takes incest too far. It's not incest though. She's joking about it. She's not actually doing it. You're, you're framing it as if she's actually getting it on with her brother. Again, joking about something doesn't make it so. Jo a joke about incest is not actually you doing incest. I hate the way that they're very manipulative and how they're trying to frame it in such a way that it makes it feel like it's more extreme than what it is. And I've noticed that the series has been getting a lot of attacks online based on people just taking screenshots and going, oh, this show's taking things too far. And it's like, have you watched it? No then be quiet. If you've not read the manga, the light novel, or watched the anime in any capacity, you do not get to have an opinion on this. Period. Now, continuing. Her character starts out well enough, creating a little bit of tension between Alia and Masa for fun. Her chaotic energy is at best in the second episode when she tricks Masa into embarrassing himself in front of Alia before he knows she is in the room. That's good. Old-fashioned humor that shouldn't make anyone feel uncomfortable. That's not how humor works. Humor is about breaking the boundaries, about taking down things that, you know, what we would see as horrible. I do it all the time. I, I love self-deprecating humor. I love taking light jabs at myself and the mistakes that I've made in life and some of the horrible things that I've had to deal with in life because at the end of the day humor is all that we have left to laugh at the horrors that have happened in our life and this whole idea that it makes you feel uncomfortable good humor should make you feel uncomfortable because humor should rip down those boundaries of you feeling uncomfortable you feeling bad about something and then humor tearing it apart bringing you out of your comfort zone and making you realize that life is still going on that life is still worth living this whole idea that if it makes you slightly uncomfortable oh no it hurts my precious feelings oh i can't survive the uncomfortableness this is why you are the type of people screen rant that would have a mental breakdown after being asked to do five minutes of work any physical labor because anything that is hardship to you would be too much for you you are the type of people that sit on a desk day in, day out, doing absolutely nothing except whinging about how miserable your life is while you live in the most luxurious, privileged lifestyle. You have no position, no position to talk about uncomfortableness when you are the biggest hypocrites on the planet. You are the equivalent of a white, privileged individual, male or female. So do not talk about uncomfortableness. Continuing, the show takes a turn, however, when the siblings are alone together at home, furthering along in the second episode. What, what were you expecting there to be, like a whole crowd there with them? You're making it sound like because they're alone, they can't be near each other. Okay. Yuki wakes her brother up by wakes her brother up by laying on him, making him wake up in an un understandably bad mood yeah because he was having a dream about his past girl that he had a crush on so yeah it sucked that he woke up at that point yeah cool great continue when the main character asks his sister if she can get off of him she asks him if he's because he has a stiffy 
Nowhere near a normal joke for a brother and sister to make towards each other. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you can't have any jokes because apparently it's uncomfortable. Jesus Christ. I'm just actually remembering my past life because I don't have any siblings, but of course I had a mother, my mother, and yeah, she'd make a lot of crude jokes, like all the time. Like boob jokes, pee pee jokes, all the time. And it's, yeah, it's not that serious. It's a joke. We were just a normal family as far as, like, a single parent mother went. We were a normal relationship of mother and son. We got along. We were close. We lived a normal life as far as things could go, as far as, you know, not a white picket fence kind of thing. But this whole idea that you can't have jokes about these kinds of things, it's like they're drawing this line in the sand of saying, well, you can't joke about all these things. Well, I'm sorry, it's all or nothing. You can joke about anything as long as it is not in the context of wishing death on someone or going that far. That, to me, is not a joke. That is a wish. So, again, I just want to be very clear because of recent things. I just want to be very clear on what I would define as a joke. If you're just joking about something stupid like, oh, you got a stiffy, it's like, that's harmless. That's just them being overreactive about something very trivial. Continuing. The show's incest theme is at its worst in the fifth episode. Masa comes home and walks into the bathroom where his sister is just getting out of the shower. Actually, if you watched the episode, you would know that actually she really was kind of like staging that whole thing, which she notes on. So she was kind of really not getting out of the shower, but kind of was. It was like a pre-stage, but yeah, continuing. Normally, this would be a regular issue, but it turns out Yuki planned on him walking in on her the whole time. Well, see, I, this is the first time reading it. She was looking forward to exposing her naked body to her brother, an insane moment the series treats normally. Wow, you people really are delicate flowers. She was... Again, I'm just rereading it. She was normally looking for... She, sorry. She was looking forward to exposing her naked body to her brother. She was having a... Oh, my God. I can see why these people probably have no good relationships with anyone, period. Family, friends, whatnot. Yuki then goes on to say that her brother should be appreciative his reward. Yeah, it, she's joking around about it. And that he shouldn't be upset by what's going on. An incredibly creepy statement that would sound even worse if the roles were reversed. Yeah, because you would be very hypocritical about a lot of these re reverse roles. But yeah, I digest. Alia hides her feelings in Russian would be an all-round great watch if they didn't take the incest so far. It has great heartwarming moments. Okay, I'm going to stop this bit here because, to be honest, this series wouldn't be doing as well as it did if Yuki wasn't part of the story. Yuki is a fundamentally amazing character from how she functions, from her drive to want to push her brother to being, like, who he used to be in the sense of like his capabilities not his past trauma stuff that again I'll go into a later video but she is one of the most fundamental pillars and that includes her humor her humor is what makes the series good so to imply that the series would somehow be great without her would remove the whole reason why the series is doing as well as it is yes Alia and Mus's relationship is definitely a pillar of making the series popular, but it wouldn't be nearly as popular if Yuki wasn't part of the story. She adds value to the story in that in that form of her humor. So to imply that it would still be great, you wouldn't, and this is a fact, this is a fact, I'm saying it right here. Screen Rant would not be making this article and would not be watching the series and wouldn't care about the series if Yuki wasn't in it, doing this humor. They would probably be making an article saying the story was boring. Why? Because it would not have the same value. It wouldn't have the same character, flavor, all the rest. Because, again, a story isn't just defined on one or two characters. There is a multitude of things that get put into a story that makes it interesting. And Yuki, in my opinion, is a fundamentally important character, including her humor. 
And it goes much more further into that later on in the episodes because you start to understand her sort of weebish behavior. There's a lot more to her than meets the eye. She's a phenomenally amazing character. But the reality is, and I'm kind of going on a tantrum here, a tandem, is they just seem to have a really big issue with joking about incest, which is funny, by the way, because they should hate Game of Thrones. But you know what's funny? Oh, they'll say, it's not joking, though. I'm like, yeah, but it's not joking, but they actually do it. And that's the thing that you're complaining about. You're, you're complaining about the joke being as almost implied that it is. And that, that's how I'm reading it. But again, we'll continue. But they're overshadowed by the weird jokes. While Japan's sensitivity may be different from Western ones, yeah, your hypocrisy is the issue. The popularity of the show, like these, makes fans complaints about un for uncomfortable jokes and scenarios more than understandable. The only people that are complaining about this are people that don't really watch the show. And to be completely honest, Screen Rant, I don't really think you watch the show properly. I don't really think it. Now, that's the end of the article itself. Honestly, I'm not surprised by them. It seems to be that they're really just defaulting to this. And again, like I said, they wouldn't care about this show at all they would probably be calling it bland and boring if Yuki wasn't in it. And you say, well, then why say the positive things that they're doing? Because what they're trying to do is they're trying to frame it as in a way that they are a fan of the series. That's what they're trying to do. It's a very clever tactic psychologically when you go into something like this and you're trying to attack something. You first build the foundations of, oh, I like these things, blah, and then proceed to attack it. Because what it does is it allows you, when you go into these articles, be more on their side of the things because you're going, oh, well, you, well, they're a fan like me, right? They just don't like this one little thing. And so then you're more likely to sway on their side. But the reality is, is what they're doing is they're taking a joke and they're taking it as literal and the way they're trying to frame it is very manipulative. They're trying to make it sound like that without her joking manner, the series would be so much better. But the reality is, is if you remove all the joking stuff out of her, she would be one of the most bland and boring sisters out there. Her whole weebish personality is a part of her and a part of her drive and why she does the things that she does in the way that she does. And on top of that, their relationship, brother and sister, is built on their relaxed behavior in how they like to joke amongst each other. Again, they don't do anything beyond the joke. So to claim that it's an incest series is just factually wrong. They're not doing anything. They're just, well, she's just joking. That's it. And I feel like they're really trying to do like a character attack on this series because they're so desperate to stay relevant. So to the person called Brandon Knowles, you're a hypocrite. And I highly doubt that you actually really care about the series. And I would say you were just looking for low-hanging fruit that you could get some clicks from. So yeah, that's the end of this video. See you next one.